Hey everyone, this is Pepe from The Hair Boy, and today is in my very first YouTube video. Okay, so to start off these reviews, uh, I'm just gonna be doing pomades, clays, waxes, whatever. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff in my medicine cabinet, and if any company's willing to work with me, shoot me an email, I'll link it down in the description below. Uh, I also have an Instagram, shoot me a DM there too, but just to get this started, I'm going to be talking about Black Bean Grocery, Superior Clay. Alrighty, let's talk about a little bit of the background of the Black Bean Grocery. So, James Bowie, aka The Pomp, a famous uh, hair, you know, product reviewer, him and his friend made like a whole business. So it's not just pomades, it's also shirts. It is uh, soap, some other things too. I forgot, I think it's like a tray and some earrings, but their stuff is really really cool i own two shirts along with three of their products out of five um one of them is a hair powder the other ones are typically just like pomades texture creams and then the clay all right so that's enough of the background and a little bit about me i'm 21 i'm hispanic and my hair is about up to my eye i don't know how many inches is that probably four four and a half not too sure um but yeah, I blow dried my hair, no pre-stylers in today. Now, would it be fair with the product if I just threw it into my hair like that? You know, so it looks a little weird right now, but wait until we get to the product or that's why we have products. So our hair can look even better after we style it. So, so let's talk about the appearance of the pomade. It is a four ounce jar and it's stick on label. It, the shape of it reminds me of like a hoisin sauce or just like Asian condiments. Uh, it's pretty cool. I rated it a four and a half. Uh, my only issue with it is like, you know, with less product, my fingers are a bit small, so it's gonna be harder to scoop out the product. I mean, it's just one person. If no one else has that kind of like issue, then you know, yeah, it's whatever. Um, so I believe James inspired the stick on label, like uh, from, it's like an homage to Lee Kun Ki's oyster sauce but to me it looks a lot like the hoisin sauce um you know those jars just the way they are i'm pretty sure it's it's like the same brand not same sauces obviously two different things uh let's see let's talk about the scent so the scent i rated a four out of five it's very eucalyptus it has camellia it has lotus those are the scent profiles uh advertised on the website i think it's very floral it's very nice, very pleasant. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I don't know if you guys want me to get a whiff, but I would actually really love this. Like, I would wear it. Um, the sealage isn't too strong, so it's not going to overpower whatever cone you're wearing. Again, you know, most pomades or whatever, one hour is typically enough for it to settle in. Scent dies out. The shine looks better. You know, things like that. So next thing we're going to be talking about is the application. So the application is super easy. It is just like butter. It is crazy ridiculous. And for that reason, I'm gonna be doing a quick demo right here. So I got about, what is that, scoop and a half. Let's see what I mean by the issue. <laughs> so break it down, super easy. It leaves white residue on your hand. So I go from the back, I go from the front, and then it is just really easy. There is no tug, there is no pull, there's nothing you typically see in a normal clay. Um, that's what I really like about this product because you know you don't really get a crazy amount of like hold, you know, you don't get a crazy amount of grittiness, you don't get a crazy amount of matte. And I think it hits all those marks, like you know, it hits all the marks of a clay without being too much. And I think that's what really separates it, you know, compared to other stuff. So I'm going in with a little bit more of a scoop just to finish off my style. My hair isn't that long so right now, so it's not really uh, weighted as much. So I do need a little bit extra product just to get that extra weigh-in so my hair stays in place all day. So let me just stop this real quick. Go. So... It is really that easy. Like honestly, you just get the towel real quick. I mean, if you guys could tell, there is a slight gloss to it. 
So the shine is three and a half. Uh, that's what I rated it initially. So what I mean by that is, so at first it's gonna be a low shine. Um, it is advertised as semi matte or a matte product or a matte, yeah, matte shine in the jar. And then it's advertised a semi matte in the website. So there's a bit of a difference right here. You know, if you're looking at my hair, you do see that gloss, you don't see a matte like you see most clays. Um, but after you settle in 30 minutes to an hour, like I said beforehand, you know, it's going to just go to a natural shine, which isn't a bad thing. I actually prefer it. You know, my hair looks a lot better when most products are natural uh, level of shine. You know, it doesn't look dead, doesn't look dual. You know, it just, I just prefer it like that. And then the next thing we're going to talk about is the hold. So the hold, it does say balanced on the jar. Again, on the website, it says medium hold. Uh, and then, yeah, it's a solid medium. There really is nothing to complain about there. Um, you know, it's just a solid medium. It lasts me the whole day. I don't really do crazy things. You know, I don't go like working construction or I'm not running around an office all day or I don't know if you run around the office. I work at home. Um, so I do like, I guess you could say I'm a caregiver at home. I take care of my stepdad. So I don't really do a lot of crazy activities. The only time it does my hair ever gets really bad is when I had to bathe him, but I mean, it's water. It's a water-based product. There's no way in chance that's ever going to last. But I mean, that's rarely, it happens water splatters, but you know, sometimes you accidentally open up the, uh, get a little, little shower thing and then the shower head starts coming out. My voice cracked. Apologies. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to talk about is the washability. So the washability, I rated it a four at five. Um, it, it's pretty easy, just one shampoo. I mean, it's not it's not that bad. I think shampooing your hair after you use a product should be a thing. Uh, I know some people don't like doing that if your you know, scalp is super sensitive and you can't really wash your hair. Um, I know there's issues with that, but for me, I always wash my hair after I use like a product like this or just anything, unless it's like a you know a scalp treatment or a hair treatment, but I barely use those. I do use like, a hair mask but I mean you know I always condition after I use it anyway so that's pretty much my shampooing right there but one shampoo really easy excuse me my bad so my overall thoughts I rated a four and a half out of five I'm not gonna add them all up because these numbers are just arbitrary um, I think if I add a bigger number when I could just simplify it and just make it a smaller number right so four and a half um, it's very versatile. I mean, you could use it for a number of different hairstyles. I remember when I first got this and I had pretty much a buzz cut and I just added some texture to it as soon as my bang or it started growing out. Um, I remember when I had a comb over, I was growing out my hair, I think five months in and I already had long enough hair to do a comb over and, and it worked pretty good. I mean, it lasted longer than this, obviously. For this one, I'm not really going for volume. I'm not going for anything too crazy. My hair already has natural volume to it. Um, I'm just looking for it to stay in place and not to fly up and it does that, you know, it does that really easily Of course two scoops, but I think it's pretty easy and then it is a beginner clay So for those who are actually looking for Clays, uh, you know, you don't know what you're looking for You don't like that grittiness you got from that one clay you bought, you know, two years back or whatever Or you don't want something that's too matte because you're afraid your hair looks dead or you don't want something that's super strong because you know you like to play with it or whatever. This is it. This is the product right here. This is a product for pretty much anyone who doesn't want too much, you know? Like I said earlier, it isn't too strong. It isn't too matte and it isn't too gritty. It's like, a, it's like I don't see the McDonald's of clays <laughs> because it's not. But it's just like that one solid burger that hits every mark but isn't too much, you know what I mean? It, it has enough seasoning, it has enough, like, the size is good, the price as well. You know, it, it hits all those marks, and I think it does a fantastic job doing that. Uh, if you're watching this Black Bean Grocery, you guys are, I love you guys' merch. I'm a big fanboy, and 
last thing I would have to say is I highly recommend this product just to anyone really. Um, not just to the fanboys, not just for those who are looking for a beginning clay. For someone who knows products change with time in their hair, I would say this is it. You know, because your hair does change a little bit. It starts from a slightly gloss to a natural. Your hold is a medium. Your hair won't like, it won't be like godly hold, okay? But it is something that's a little bit more relaxed, you know? Those easy days in the office, those easy days at home, chores or whatever, or just in general, you know, it's a pretty good product. I think if you have the opportunity to buy it, I would highly recommend it. I'm going to link it down in the description below. Uh, I have no coupon code. It's my first YouTube video. I do have an Instagram called The Hair Boy. Uh, you guys can call me Pepe, Philip, Felipe, even. <laughs> but Pepe is usually okay. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit awkward. This is, again, my first YouTube video, and I'm not too sure if I'm doing that well. Uh, camera quality isn't the best. I'm recording off my S20. I do have a little tripod onto it. And I do have a little mic right here. I don't know if that scuffed it up. I can't really hear it. But yeah, um, I'll just link everything down in the description below. If you guys want to just subscribe, like this comment, or like and comment, please do so. That'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, yeah, and just one last view of the product before I dip.